bless you. This is Apostle signing. When you check on YouTube, on all over social media, you see different videos, posts about great men of God, fathers in the faith, you know, mentors, people we look up to in the faith. And some of these videos are very alarming. Some of these videos will even make you to sit down and begin to imagine what's going on. Is this true? Is this real? Is this fake? So today, you know, some of these videos, we don't talk about it. But not today. Today, I, I have something to say. First, let's break the Bible to the book of Matthew chapter 7, verse 15. It says, In the last days, false prophets shall arise, and many wolves in sheep clothing. Listen to me before I say what I want to say. I am not supporting anybody. I'm not in support of anybody. Because why? I'm not the one that called them. And I'm not the one that called anybody. I believe that every man of God will stand before his caller. That is Elohim on the last day. Everyone will give account of his record here on earth. So I am not in support of A, nor am I in support of B. Neither am I standing for A, nor standing against A, or standing against B. But I want us to be clear on some certain things. Because if we don't talk about some certain things, it might even make the believers to even want to drop the mantle and say, ah, if this person, if this can be this, if this can be that, let me go into the world. And such things are things that, you know, are not supposed to be because we are in a mission to populate the kingdom of God and depopulate the kingdom of darkness. But before I say what I want to say, I want to first of all talk to those YouTubers. Come on. Come on. Let's be our brother's keeper. Let's realize one thing. That issues of the spirit cannot be designed by mere understanding, nor by looking at facts. Because there are people that are ready to pay. There are people that are ready to pay millions and billions just so that people can frame up and cook up stories. And listen to me, there are people that when they write a script, they are very good in writing scripts. When they write a script, even you standing by them will believe. Even you just standing by their side while they were writing, you know that, hey, this is the person that wrote this script. It's not real. But when you are reading it, even you will think it's real. You will not know when you will change your mind. There are people like that. There are people that are ready to pay millions and billions of people just to millions and billions of naira, millions and billions of dollars, millions and billions of pounds just to see a man of God down. So we must be very careful who we labor false or true. Check first. Don't just check only the pictures, the videos and all. Check first. If you're a Christian, get on your knees and pray about such things. Ask the Lord. Lord, this thing, is it real? Is it lie? Is it a lie? Or is it real? This thing, this, this thing I want to bring for, for YouTube. Not real. Because we have to be very careful. Do you know that even Jesus, the son of the living God, was accused of being a worshipper of Belshazzar? He was accused that the power he used to heal the blind and mute man was the power of Belshazzar. Matthew chapter 12, reading from verse 23 downwards. Listen to me, that's why we must be very careful. Because even the Pharisees of those days... The story they cooked up was so nice, so sweet. 
so attractive that even the men, the, the Christians, the Jews among them believed. And they listen to me, the story was so sweet that even the Jews never believed that Jesus was the Messiah. They never believed because of the story, it was so well structured, so well cooked up that even the Jews, many were led astray. That the Bible says in the book of John chapter 16, verse 2, it says in those days, in the last days, many shall kill you thinking they are doing the Lord's work. Why? Because in those last days, they will put up stories, things that are beyond imagining, things that when you think about it, they, when you look at the facts, there are no command, no dot, nothing. It's clean and clear. And you think, hey, this is it. Let me just pack my bags and, and let's go to hell. No. No. We must be very careful. If you're a YouTuber and you're a Christian, before you bring out any videos or any video, think about it. Get on your knees. Pray about it. Lord, this that I'm about to do, is it real or is it fake? Don't just look at the facts. Look beyond the facts. Look beyond the evidence. Look beyond the photos. Get on your knees. That's why the Bible says, He that walketh according to the flesh is flesh, and he that walketh according to the spirit is spirit. There are some the, the, the only way to know about the spiritual matter is to look at it from the eyes of the spirit. You can't understand the spiritual matter from by looking at it from the main flesh. It can't work. And I'm so not sympathetic for some YouTubers. You know, you are complaining and crying over a YouTube video that was shut down. And your YouTube that was shut down. That is just less than 10 years. Whereas you are attacking a man of God that have been on a spiritual journey in a walk with God for more than 30 years. Abba, think of your, look at your conscience. Look at your conscience. You are crying over a video that was shut down because you were attacking a man of God or your YouTube was shut down because you were attacking a man of God. And you, 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 your conscience did not prick you when you were attacking a man of God that have been on a spiritual walk with God, do you know what it means to walk with God? Many people don't understand what it means to walk with God. The sacrificial aspect of it involved in it. The sacrificial aspect of it through the pains, through the good times and the bad times, through the the, 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 the process, the spiritual process that God puts that such a man through through the temptations and the hurdles that that man has been on for more than 30 years and you just come one day and you want to do a video to destroy the entire image of that man to slander the man and shut down the ministry God forbid he said the gate of hell shall never prevail but somebody may ask some of you may ask don't I have the right to judge? Don't I have the right to say my mind? Don't I have the right to look at issues and say what I want to say? In the book of Luke chapter 6, Luke chapter 6 verse 37, the Bible says, Judge not that ye may not be judged. The truth is this. I don't judge anybody. Whether right or wrong, I don't judge them. Why? Because I'm not the one that caught them. You can't judge a man you never caught. You, you can't judge a man that you were not the one that gave him that gave him an appointment letter. The question is, were you the one that appointed him? Were you the one that gave him an appointment letter? Then why are you judging him? I believe that everyone will stand before God on the last day to give account of whatever they have done with their life. So God is the perfect judge, not man, because he sees beyond what you can see. He sees when those people are cooked cooking up those stories. He sees everything. He sees what is true. And if that man of God is also false or fake, he's, he also sees him. Even in his secret place, why he's, 
he's planning those those mischiefs god sees everything so it's the perfect job not you because you were not there you 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 can't be there you are not you are not god you are not everywhere at the same time so don't judge you know but it's a it's a sad thing to say that sometimes the enemy of a christian is a christian and the enemy of a pastor is a pastor do you know that sometimes the people that pay for such videos to be released are actually pastors do you know that sometimes the people that actually pay or sponsor such videos are actually Christians? Do you know that many of the people that actually share those videos to make it viral are actually Christians? How can you be a Christian and you are slandering a fellow Christian? Can you see a Buddhist? Can you find a Buddhist slandering a Buddhist? It's not possible. Get on YouTube. You can't find one. Get on YouTube. You can't find one. You can't find one. There are so many religions on the earth. Go to YouTube and check if you see any slandering their fellow. It's not there. Then why is it happening in the body of Christ? We need to check some certain things and address some certain issues. Listen to me. Let's focus on Jesus. Let's make Jesus our focus, not man of God. Focus on Jesus. I believe the issue with Nigeria is we have made men of God like God that, you know, we, we, we have lost focus of Jesus. Let your focus be on Jesus. When your focus is on Jesus, you won't even, you won't even be, be, be interested in various rumors. You won't even be interested in rumors. Your mind will be on God. Let your mind be on God. Listen to me, I am neither for nor against. But listen to me, enough is enough to some certain things. Let's think about it. If that man of God is your brother, will you behave like that? If you that is doing that video, have you checked yourself if you are even better than the person that you are talking about? The Bible says in the book of John chapter 8 verse 7, it says if you are with us, if you are with us, sin, cast the first stone. We need to ask ourselves first, you that is doing the video, check yourself. The person that you are talking about, are you better off? If they give you such an opportunity, will you do better? Will you do better? Check your life. You are criticizing a man of God. And every Friday you are in the nightclub. Jumping from one woman to the next woman. And you get on, on, on Sunday or Monday, you get on your YouTube channel and you say, John, say about somebody that has been working with God for years to destroy his image. And you think God will keep quiet and be watching, looking at you. <laughs> let's think twice, please. And please, let's not sponsor her. Let's sponsor the things of God. Let's be active in the things of God. There are, I always tell most youtubers i always talk to them i always let them know that there are a lot of things happening in the society so many things that needs attention so many things that we can use our platform to address you know even ranging from politics even to what is the social menace in the society you know so many things happening you know that we can use our platform to actually address rather than slandering people and destroying images please let's be our brother's keeper and let's focus on jesus let's let's make jesus our focus because when we do we we'll always do the right thing god bless you this is apostle signing god bless you